For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how you can create user interface buttons in Display I.O. using Adafruit Button Library. So this is a Pi Portal I have here, and this will work pretty much with any of our displays that have some sort of a touch input. What we're trying to do here is create user interface buttons. It's something that's pretty common to want on a touch device like this. And rather than roll your own with uh, sprites or with tile elements um, and then text labels on top and checking states and swapping them out for different colors, this kind of makes all of that really uh, come together for you in this high level library. So you can see here, I've got uh, a couple of buttons on here. When I touch them, this is resistive touch, so I can use this uh, stylus to get my finger out of the way there. Uh, when I touch them, they are reacting. They're also printing out to my REPL there when they're getting pressed. Uh, you can also see when I press one and then leave the button, it knows, even though I'm continuing to press, so I'm sliding onto those, which is pretty nice. All of that is functionality that comes inside of Adafruit Button. So here's how this works. Uh, I have imported from Adafruit Button the button library. I am setting up a button right here. So you can see button one is button, and then I give it a whole bunch of parameters. Where it's positioned, so X and Y, I'm moving it to 10 over and 10 down. Uh, the width of it, I'm choosing a uh, division of the width and the division of the height there, but you can just give it a pixel number if you want. Uh, the style of it, we can make rectangles, round rectangles, round rectangles with shadows, and rectangles with shadows. We have uh, different colors here, so the fill is the sort of meaty center of it. I'm giving it this kind of dark purple. Outline is this brighter magenta. Uh, I've told it a label, which is a piece of text. You can use terminal I.O. font, or you can be fancy and pick a BDF, uh, bitmap raster font, like I've got here, Lotto Bold. And then we have colors for the label, as well as different colors for when things get pressed. You can leave those off, and it'll just give you sort of uh, inverse of the color, or you can get uh, fancy and, and pick specific colors. I've set up a second uh, button here. I'm adding those to my display group, uh, and then I'm doing some state stuff here so I'm not constantly spamming. Uh, then this is all touch stuff here in the main loop. I'm just checking for a uh, touch screen touch point. If it does uh, get pressed, then I can check, this is really slick, if the button contains that point, that coordinate point on the screen, that's how it knows that it is being pressed. So if you make a real big button, if you make a real small button, you don't have to really care about that. It knows if that touch point is contained inside of the button or not. Uh, and then when it's got a, uh, a press, when it's being pressed, we're doing one thing. When it's being released, we do a different thing. And then I've got that running for a couple of different buttons there. And so that is how you can use Adafruit Button to create display I.O. button elements inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.